Hi guys, it's Lisa Murphy, and today for Porch Time Story Time, I have another well-loved book, which means that it's kind of fallen apart a little bit, and it is called Monster Goose, and it is by Judy Sierra and illustrated by Jack E. Davis. I think you're going to really like some of Jack's illustrations. This book is full of spoofs off of, um, what, what? how would I say, like classic Mother Goose nursery rhymes. You might recognize some of them. Here is the first one. Old Monster Goose, when conditions did suit her, pecked out these rhymes on her laptop computer. This one is one of my favorites. Mary had a vampire bat. Its fur was black as night. He followed her to school one day and promised not to bite. She brought him out for show and tell. The teacher screamed and ran, and school was canceled for a week, just as Mary planned. Some of you have been out of school longer than a week. Corpus McCool, the clumsy old ghoul, was interred near the gardens at Kew. He lost his head in a cabbage bed, but it later appeared in a stew. <laughs> Sometimes kids like these, but adults not so much. Little Miss Mummy lay on her tummy, smoking a big fat cigar. A very large spider resided inside her. She kept all her guts in a jar. This one, the words are all over both pages. It says, one, two, learn to say boo. Three, four, walk through a door. Five, six, Oh, it says play mean tricks. Look, I don't know if you can see that. But he was looking through binoculars and somebody put ink on it. Five, six, play mean tricks. Seven, eight, levitate. Nine, ten, scare the feathers off a hen. I live in Florida where it's really hot, so this one's kind of funny. Humpty Dumpty swam in the sea. Humpty's sunscreen was SPF 3. Because he was so lightly oiled, dear Humpty ended up hard-boiled. He did not have enough sunscreen on. Pirate Pete. I have not had a lot of practice reading this particular one. Pirate Pete and Pete's pet shark prowl the ocean after dark. Sailing north and sailing south, the shark up front with an open mouth. Guided by electric eels, they search for unsuspecting meals. So when you take a midnight dip, please keep, <laughs> please keep an eye out for Pete's ship. That is like a tongue twister. Oh, this was one I used to read all the time. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three fish in the tub. And what do you think they do? Well, because they're piranhas with very poor manners, they hide and wait for you. Gilles and Jacques. Gilles and Jacques went to the lock to fetch a pail of water. Jill took a swim. Events turned grim. The famous monster caught her. Do you know who that famous monster is? Have you heard of the Loch Ness Monster? There was an old zombie who lived in a shoe. She had so many maggots, she didn't know what to do. So she soaked them in soap suds and painted them green, and she'll be giving them out next Halloween. <laughs> Oh, this is, I love this one. Cannibal Horner sat in the corner, eating a people pot pie. He bit his own thumb and cried out, Oh, yum, yum, what a tasty young morsel am I. Mm. Look at her screaming face. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to torment the queen. Mean little pussy cat, what did you there? I put a wee mousy in her long underwear. <laughs> this is about weird Mother Hubbard. Maybe you've heard of old Mother Hubbard. Weird Mother Hubbard went down to the graveyard to fetch her poor doggie a bone. But that bone was the toe of Skeleton Joe. 
When she took it, Joe followed her home. So she went to the tailor's to buy Joe a coat, but when she came back, he was shaving a goat. She went to the hatter's to buy Joe a hat, but when she came back, he was painting the cat. She went to the baker's to buy Joe some bread, but when she came back, he was juggling his head. The dog said politely, the guest must go. So weird, Mother Hubbard said, take back your toe. Billy Bryant met a giant going to the fair. The giant growled at Billy Bryant. Would you like a scare? Said Billy Bryant to the giant. That would not be fair. The last three giants that I scared are in intensive care. Jack Spratt. Jack Spratt ate some fat and drank some gasoline. He lit his pipe and in one spipe invented lean cuisine. I don't know if you might get that or not. This one you might want to sing like a song if you know the words. Hush little baby, don't you cry. Do you know that one? Hush little monster, don't you whine. Papa's gonna give you to Frankenstein. If you and Frank, oops, I missed it up. Let me start again. Hush, little monster, don't you whine. Papa's gonna give you to Frankenstein. And if you and Frank can't get along, Papa's gonna send you to old King Kong. If you don't like that big gorilla, you might prefer his friend Godzilla. If giant lizards make you scared, maybe you'll be happy with a grizzly bear. And if life in a bear cave isn't Fun. Why not go visit an alien? If flying through space upsets your tummy, just come home to your papa and your mummy. Hmm. This one is a really big tongue twister. Slithery, slithery dock. Slithery, slithery dock. The snake slid up the clock. She soon got bored and bit the cord. It gave her quite a shock. The snake began to quake and the clock began to rock. At half past four, they struck the floor. Smashery, quackery, dock. Can you see all of that in there? I like the picture of the snake biting the cord. There is a hungry boggart. There is a hungry boggart living somewhere near my bed. He gobbled up the sheets and he munched the pillows neath my head. He nibbled my pajamas and he swallowed all my toys. I'm really quite relieved he has an allergy to boys. That means he won't get it. Hmm. Young King Cole was a terrible troll. He washed his feet in the toilet bowl. He brushed his teeth with turpentine and combed his hair with a porcupine. Look, I got a sticky because it's the one I liked to mark because the kids like to read that one. There's a lot going on in that picture. Mistress Mary, scary, very. Her garden is not ordinary. Her green beans are mean and her chives carry knives. Her catnip just caught a canary. A killer potato ate all her tomatoes and now he's looking for Mary. <laughs> Look at his face. Look what he's doing. Sing a song of sea slime. Sing a song of sea slime, sewer glass, sewer gas. Hold on, I'll start again. Sing a song of sea slime, sewer gas and sludge. Four and twenty wharf rats dipped in mocha fudge. When the dish was served, it scampered out the door. Dessert has fled, the poor king said, so I guess I'll lick the floor. Ooh, let's see all those rats. <laughs> The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the warthog's snout. The warthog grabbed a hanky and tried to blow him out. 
The little bloke was blasted all the way to Spain, so the itsy-bitsy spider did not go up there again. Think, is this the last one? Oh no, there's there's three more. I bet you can guess which one this is. Werewolf Bo Creep has lost his sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But they're vampire sheep, and right now as he sleeps, they're sneaking up behind him. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. You know that one, right? This is Twinkle Twinkle Little Slug. Twinkle Twinkle Little Slug Crawling on my bedroom rug In my sister's sock you go Wrap yourself around her toe Won't my sister love you so? Twinkle Twinkle Little Slug Crawling on my bedroom rug <laughs> Look, it's now she's putting her foot in there. Oh man, the mongery man, the mongery man and his dangery dog once sat on the banks of a blueberry bog, munching flat former frogs and mementos of mice served up on a peel of eel over ice. They sang Wabazoo, such a feast for us too, as they slowly dissolved in the blueberry goo. And that is the end of this collection called Monster Goose, and I hope you liked it. So that's today's Porch Time Story Time. I will see you tomorrow with some more books on the porch. I hope you had a really good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Gotta turn the button off.